To survive, all living things need air, water, shelter, and can you guess what else? Nutrients. We humans call our nutrients food. I love nutrients. They're the ingredients that we living things need to grow, have energy, and keep us alive. But no matter what organisms get their nutrients from, we are all part of something called the food chain. It's a way to describe the steps nutrients take as they pass from one living thing to another, part of the beautiful cycle of life here on Earth. But what is a food chain? Does it literally look like a chain? And where does it begin and end? I feel like I have a chain of questions. It's time to demystify. The food chain has four major parts. All food chains start with the sun. Not only does the sun give us light and warmth, it's also the primary source of energy on Earth. Most plants use the sun to help make their own food. Through a process called photosynthesis, they use the light of the sun, carbon dioxide in the air, and minerals and water from the Earth to nourish themselves. Plants can make their own food, that's why they are called producers. They produce food without help from any other organisms. Animals, including us humans, cannot make our own food. We need to consume or obtain our nutrients from other sources. That makes us consumers. Many animals, from beetles to bison to bongos, are consumers that eat plants. And then there are decomposers. Decomposers can be fungi, like mushrooms, or animals, like an earthworm. Decomposers feed on other dead plants and animals, and the waste they leave behind is recycled into nutrients that help nourish, can you guess what? Plants. And the food chain continues. So take a look at the living things around you. That ant, or bird, or ficus tree, or fish, or human, or mushroom. Which are decomposers, which are consumers, and which are producers? Now that we demystified it for you, the answer should be simple. Consumer, consumer, producer. Consumer, consumer, decomposer. And that's Food Chains Demystified. <laughs>